What's up guys? Welcome to episode seven of Draw School. On this episode, I'm gonna show you guys how to draw the torso. So let's get right into it. Roll my intro. When drawing the torso, the main thing you want to realize is that there is a rib cage under there. The rib cage can be drawn in the oval, and there's a sternum down the middle, and then your ribs are attached like this. There's a collarbone, and then you just have ribs that attach to the sternum, right? And that creates the shape of your torso because we have bones under our muscles creating the shape. So let's draw the torso now that we know the structure underneath. So we can always start with the basic shapes. So it's almost a circle, but it's more of an oval shape, like an egg almost. That's how I like to start. I always like to draw a line down the middle so I can keep my symmetry, especially for like front facing drawings, which this will be a front facing torso, okay? Once you do that, I like to do a line up here and bring that down connected and you'll see why. This is gonna be your clavicle. And then we know that the sternum is here. Let me lighten this up a bit so we can continue drawing on top of it with darker lines and building up our drawing as you should always do. And start light and get darker and darker as you go. Next thing I do is I do this, like a little vest shape because our ribs would be there. So it's like a vest shape. That's all the torso really is. And you wanna have the holes for your arms here and the holes for your arms here. And they connect like that. And then you have the hole for your neck here. And this is all in 3D guys. So you gotta imagine that the back is in here. And this is inside of the vest. And this is where everything connects. So you guys already know where the head goes and the proportions of the head. Once you guys draw that and you attach it to a neck, and it goes into this torso. And then this torso attaches to the pelvis like this. So there's like a little belt where there's just the spinal cord in there, the lumbar section. These are just a few words of anatomy. If you wanna learn some anatomy, you got some vertebrae. These are called vertebrae. This is the lumbar section, the lower part, lumbar, lower. And this is connected to the pelvis bone, which inside kind of looks something like this but we don't really draw that, we don't see that. What we see is what's outside of it, the muscles and stuff. So we really see kind of like an underwear shape. So you have the torso here and then the pelvis, and this really makes up the center of your characters from the front view. So we're pretending that we can see through it. I'm not actually gonna draw these things. This is just to give you guys an idea of what they look like in 3D. The chest is gonna be around here. I usually measure by the arm, holes and I kind of go down from the armholes like this and then they connect so that's gonna be the chest the pectorals muscles the pecs as they call them follow the line down and if you're lucky you may have a six-pack and these will be in this region they have like a little up dip M in the middle and then up wings or like a W almost there's your abs and then you have like a V section like this coming down and your belly button is usually right there. We're flying through this torso guys. Now that you have that set up, then there's little muscles that come out this way like that from each ab section. There's actually a lot of them, but they kind of group into three big ones on the outside of your skin or your muscles. They look like just three big clumps. Your abs are never going to really close up like boxes. So these lines are unnecessary right here. You just kind of put these lines and the rest is shading as we'll get to in a little bit. So these are the external obliques that come out of the abs like this. And these are usually attached to another group of muscles before they get to your armpit called the serratus anterior. Now the serratus anterior, you guys might have seen drawn on your favorite comic book characters attached to these like this. So these go up and they kind of like scale. Like how scales would be on a snake. Right, so they attach like that, but this is like an incredibly strong human being whose muscles are very 
defined. I'm just kind of showing you guys what's there. The belt line would go right there. And that is the torso, really. And these are usually more round because nobody's super square, so they're usually like this. But that's usually how I get to this point. The clavicles will end up having a line there like that. So that is the front torso. Let's move on to the side. Same thing, let's start with this oval, like an egg shape, go down the middle. All right, but now your circle for your arm, your armhole is gonna be here like this. Now let's say this guy's facing this way. Chest will be here, but let's not get to that yet, all right? First things first, you wanna do your shape, the vest shape. So it's like this now from the side. All right, so that's that shape that we talked about earlier. And then it will connect with a band to the pelvis which is the underwear shape, which now will look like this. It's where your leg will go here. The pelvis attached to the top part of your torso, armhole. All right, so next step, let's start adding the muscle groups. The chest or the pecs, as we like to call them, usually go out further than your abs and pelvis on a fit person. The clavicle sits on top of the chest and sticks out a bit. Oh. I forgot to draw the sternum over the abs, guys. The sternum, this part right here of your ribs, actually comes out to here and protects your chest and your organs in there, and your heart, and your lungs. So your abs start under that. So that's what this is right here. So these would be ribs, if we can see under there. So your abs start under that. And this is the V, if you're so lucky to have a six pack wish I did. <laughs> All right, and then these muscles connect there and there. And again, you only see those really if you're super strong, if you work out a lot, tuck in to those. External obliques, serratus anterior. So let's review a little bit. So we did the shape, the vest shape, we put in the armholes, we drew the band that connects to the pelvic region down here, we drew the leg hole, then we started adding the muscles, the chest, then we added this section that goes on top of the abs that protect our organs, then we added the one, two, three layers of six packs, then we have the V that goes down right here, the belly button will be here, and then the muscles that come from there that you don't really see on any body unless they're working out a lot and eating it really well, which we should all do. Let's move on to a three quarter view, which is probably the most used one. If you guys saw my other videos, then you know that three quarter view means this. That's three quarter view guys. All right, so we're gonna draw the three quarter torso. Start again with an oval, nice and big. Now we throw the line down the middle of that. We make the vest shape up like this, back down, up, make that line up here. So this line represents the clavicle arm shape here. Now the arm shape is gonna be, you're not gonna be able to see it or the arm hole on the other side, you're not gonna be able to see it, but let's just fake it like if we drew through, cause you gotta draw through things to figure things out. It's, that's really inside, so I'll make it light. And again, perspective comes into play in three quarter views, guys. So let's say this dot's here for the horizon. Can you see that line? And that line's going like this and like that. That's why this hole's this big and this hole's a little bit bigger. That's why this side of the chest is bigger than this side, because this one's a little bit more in space. And then the neck hole, just like a shirt hole. All right, cool, so we have that shape of the torso. Then we do the band down, just by two lines like this. Draw the underwear shape, and that's where the leg would start there. All right, so these are the basic shapes. Now let's add some muscles. We start again, I like to start here, at the bottom of the socket for the arm. In perspective, going into perspective, and it goes up into the arm, because remember, it feels here goes up like so. And then this area right here is the ribs, which are protecting our abs. So we start the abs under that. Belly button will go here. And the V shape that goes down. So now let's add those muscles that are connected that I will probably never remember the name of. 
but just know that they go here. They attach to the ends of the abs, go upwards towards the rib section, and they disappear into the distance on this side. Women have the same muscles, by the way. They, they have a smaller rib cage, I was told. And then these muscles attach to some little muscles back here like this. And those are fun to draw in superheroes. And that is the torso, guys. Looks like I owe you guys the backside. So let's work on that next. We're gonna draw an oval again. Throw the line on the middle. Arms here, arms here. And from the back, it doesn't go as high as the front would. The front will go all the way up here. The back is kind of like the back of the vest. So just like the chest had the muscles start here, the same for the back, but this time, because of our shoulder blades, it's more like a U. And then we have a line down for our spine. The trapezius, it's kind of overlapping our shoulder blade muscles we have here. Because we have some shoulder blade muscles. If you were to look at the muscles, they kind of go like this, right? But the trapezius kind of overlaps these. And this muscle is connected to your neck muscle like this. So we have that trapezius there. Let's erase the clavicle line. And this is where it attaches down to the pelvic region. And then the underwear shape down here for the pelvic region, which in the back looks like the back of a diaper because your boots are back there, your butt, your booty. All right, so that is the back. As weird as that looks, that's how it is. And there's a whole group of muscles here. Okay guys, I'm gonna wrap up the video, so I'm just gonna grab some reference and draw it real quick. And that's it guys hopefully you learned a lot about how to draw the torso you won't want to miss the next episode i will be giving away another illo sketchbook to one of you lucky subscribers so make sure you watch i'll see you guys on the next one